Hi there, I'm Andrew, and welcome to this, my second video about the IELTS exam. In this video, I'm going to give you hints and tips or advice about how to pass the IELTS exam. If you have any questions about the video, please leave them as comments below the video and I promise I will answer them. If you find these videos useful, please subscribe to my channel. In my first video, we talked about the number one rule of passing the IELTS exam. Never ever be silent. We looked at how you can use something called fillers to give yourself time to think. In the last video, we talked about fillers that are suitable for part one questions that ask you to remember something from the past. Remember, a filler is something that you can say to news up time and to give yourself time to think of something good to say in answer to the question. In this video, we'll look at the fillers that you can use to give yourself time to think in response to part three questions that ask your opinion about something. In other words, what you think about something. So let's imagine or pretend that you get asked a question such as this one. How has art changed in your country in the last 20 years? Now, unless you are an expert on art, you will probably need a few seconds to think before you start to answer. That's not a problem if you use a filler to give yourself the time, but it would be a big problem if you are silent while you think. Remember, it's impossible to score any points at all in the speaking test if you are not speaking, and your test will only last 12 to 14 minutes, so you must speak all of the time. So what kind of fillers are suitable or appropriate for opinion-based questions in part three. Here are some suggestions. Number one, I'm not hugely familiar with this topic, so I will need a moment to collect my thoughts. Number two, that's a good question. I haven't thought about it before. Let me think. And then you give your answer. Hmm. That's not something which I have ever considered before. Let me think. Ah, I think. Gosh, I've not given any thought to that before. But on balance, I think that. Hmm, that's not a topic that I've given much thought to. But I think. So there are five suggestions for you. Five ways in which you can give yourself or buy yourself perhaps four or four or five seconds in which to think of an opinion to give in response to opinion-based part three questions. If you need more suggestions or if you want to discuss these suggestions, then you can leave a comment or you can get in touch with me directly. My contact details are below this video. In my next video, I will show you how to give a great answer to a question about a topic that you know nothing about in part three of your IELTS speaking test. So look out for that video in the near future. Thank you and see you next time.